For today's problem, we are going to take the integral of sine x over cosine squared x. To make the problem a little bit easier, we want to actually rewrite the problem so we can apply u substitution. And to do that, we need to first understand that cosine squared x is actually equal to cosine x quantity squared. So we can rewrite this as the integral of sine x cosine x to the negative 2 power because the squared was on the bottom and we're bringing it to the numerator so it becomes negative 2 and that's dx. So now we can apply u substitution so we can call this u so u is equal to cosine x and we'll take the derivative of that so we'll say du dx is equal to minus sine x and then we can say du is equal to minus sine x dx. So we need a minus sine x dx in our original expression, which we have here almost. So we have sine x dx. So I just need to add a negative sign here. And to do that, I need to put a negative out here because a negative 1 times negative 1 is just positive 1. So we're not actually changing the value of the expression. So now we can rewrite this as negative. And the negative sine x dx becomes du and then we have u to the negative 2. So u to the negative 2, du. And this we can easily integrate. So we add up this power by 1, and then multiply by the reciprocal. So the new exponent is going to be negative 1. The reciprocal is negative 1, so the negative 1 times this negative 1 cancels out. So you're just left with u to the new power of negative 1 plus c. And we're almost done. We just need to substitute cosine x in there, so you'd have cosine x to the negative 1 power plus c plus c. But this is really the same thing as 1 over cosine x plus c. And this is the same thing as secant x plus c. And that's the answer.